What's going on guys, I'm Septile MC and today I'll be bringing you an any session, probably three, four parts, just because I'm recording this really late in the morning or early in the morning. Um, not going to say how early because you guys think I don't ever sleep. Um, and I have work tomorrow, I'm just not tired. And I felt like recording today. Um, kind of feel like I want to get back into YouTube a bit more. Haven't recorded for about a month, I'm sorry about that. I'll explain that all in like a different update video. Plus, guys, thank you for 2K subscribers. I will be doing a special eventually. Um, just as of now, I just have to get my channels first completely sorted out. Have to get it back on track, and then I'll do my 2K special. Um, but I do want to thank you guys. It really means the world to me that I have 2K subs. Um, and just want to say thank you again. Now let's get into this. Um, made a team already. Have it right here. Especially defensive dust stocks with the defog because everyone uses Mantine. Everyone uses Luminion. And I'm tired of seeing those Pokemon. I want to use something else. And especially defensive dust stocks surprisingly does a decent amount of work actually. Um, you guys will see here. And the shield dust ability means I can't get burned by Scald. That is a hate. This is the best thing. I can't get burned by Scald. I can't get frozen by Ice Beam. Can't get paralyzed by t-bolt it's amazing um and then four standard moves and a standard ev spread um defensive sub split rotom kind of don't know how well this set's gonna work out don't have any hp investment because you want to have pain split at a maximum amount of e efficiency so it just takes more health and then you recover more it's just much better that way I have the 36 investment special attack for su for s s some Pokemon. I know that for Alligator maybe or sus uh, something like that where a T-Bolt will Oko it. Um, have a Gramble to assist my two walls here just so Intimidate, I can get the Intimidate or also the special defense. I have some special defense investment there. Um, a char I have a Charcoal Max special attack um, with enough speed to outspeed base 65s, which is a Dragal... No, Dragalgi. I do outspeed Dragalgi. Um, Sandslash, I think I outspeed with this thing. And I just completely Oko with Eruption. It's, the, it's, it's incredible. I just I just love it. Um, then I have a Sashed Cacturn. It's like my... Kind of my... It's more my... Ugh, I can't speak right now. It's so early in the morning. Late Game Sweeper. Um... Also, I'm really weak to water. You guys can see that, so it helps to have the water absorbed there. In dire situations, I can switch in my CAC turn if, if I predict correctly. Um, then I have a Float So Hill just for a bulk upset. And once 176 speed, because if you look at Rotom right here, which is a very common Pokemon on teams, max speed is 309, so if I get up a bulk up, Crunch just Oko's any, any, ugh, any regular Rotom set. And Rotom Fan, I think at plus one is Oakwood by Ice Punch. If it's the Scarf, I mean the Spec set. So let's find an NU battle. Um, we're doing like three of these parts or four maybe. Who knows? I'll see how it is. But don't know a title yet. And oh, I hate fucking Fivalon. Shittiest Pokemon to ever fucking face. Um, judging by his team though... Um, he's either going to go for the Sand Slash, the Typhlosion, Vivillon, or the Gorbis. It's a lot of Pokemon. I'm just going to go with the camera up. To, we'll see what happens. Fuck, it's Gorbis. I'm going to go to Cacturn just because I have the Water Absorb. If he wants to go for a Water Time move, he can do that. If he wants to Shell Smash, that's fine. I have the Seed Bomb, I have the Sash, and I have the... What's it called? Seed Bomb is going to take him down very low. And I just clean Oko with. Thank you, God, for Cacturn. So that is a f instant threat out of the way. And I'm half expecting this guy to forfeit right here. No, he goes into Girder. Um, Mock Punch is pretty obvious. I'm just going to go into Gramble. It's my, it's, it's my safest play. It's kind of my designated... Girder counter. I do have the... Dust Talks as well, which does surprising work against Girders. Um, you'll see right now, he's actually probably going to switch, you know, think about it, but, um, what do we want? I'd say the Sand Slash. Double switch into Camera. I out. Yeah, I do SPM. Sand Slash is here. That's a, he thinks that's a bad switch. If he's running speed, I'm fucked. 
Um, I'm still gonna go for Eruption. I'm still gonna fire it off. This is gonna do a hell of a lot of damage. Um, and no, it's gonna Oko. He's gonna go into Vivalon. Dude! <laughs> Dude! No shot. You're coming close to that. You're gonna sleep out of though. Um, I'm gonna go into Cacturn and predict the sleep out It's already almost dead, so if it, if, if, if it, I mean, if it didn't work, it didn't work. It did work in this case, so I'm gonna sucker punch here. Um, take out the Vivalon, so two kills to Cacturn, and he forfeits. Not bad. Let's find another battle, I guess. Um, that's what happens when you just completely outplace someone, I guess. Um, for six minutes. Oh god, Dendrothor. There's, I've known this guy. All these names are familiar. This guy's running a rain. He's running a rain. Rain, rain of this rain, rain, sun, sand. He can be running anything. I kind of feel like it's just standard team. I'm just overthinking it. That's his lead. Uxie is his lead, in my opinion, for sure. Um, I feel like my best bet. Not Floatzel. Camerupt. Camerupt can come in. Armaldo lead. Um, how fast is Armaldo? 45. Eruption will Oko those defenses. I am positive of that. And if he wants to switch, he can. Boom! 5 to 6. Just like that. Camerupt, you are a god. Earth power now. He thinks I'm Specs. He thinks I'm Choice Specs because that Oko down. I'm Charcoal. Charcoal. Fuck you. Taken Earth Power. Four to six. The power of Camerupt. I love this thing with a passion. This is one of my favorite new Pokemon in NU. Um, Camerupt for rocks, charcoal, this, the speed investments out, speed certain things. It's a fantastic Pokemon. It's a fantastic set. I love it. And just like that, we have another forfeit. Just like that. Let's find another battle. Doss Shark. Now, his lead is either going to be the, possibly the Mesprit or the camera. Um, both of those are actually kind of held up by Cacturn, now that I think about it. Um, Floatzel, though. Leading off with the Floatzel. If he leads off with the Mesprit, I'm going to switch out to the camera, predicting a T-Bolt. Um... And then I'm going to eruption it, but I don't want to lead off with, actually lead off with my camera would not be a bad idea. Um, just because of the speed investment I have, although I feel like because I don't have as much bulk, he's going to take my hit, but I'm not going to take his. But we'll do that anyway. This was the worst thing that could have ever fucking happened. Let's go into Cacturn instantly. Usually early on, people do not really like to over predict, so I, f so I kind of feel like if we just switch in hard early on it's fine just like that we're fine um he has to switch out here i mean he doesn't have to i'm sashed he he doesn't really know that but a seed bomb's coming his way um so no matter what he is taking a fucking seed bomb or something probably gonna be the spirit tomb to be honest but if he goes into spirit tomb he's, he's gonna try to try to burn me i'm gonna go into camera up and he just gets oko i have sp i have max speed dude um Naturally, I think the Samurai do outspeed me, but I think you usually capture in a max HP, max attack, just because of, of, the, of the Sucker Punch priority, but the idea of having max speed, which allows me to outspeed a lot of bulky attackers, with my other strong stab being Seed Bomb, is great. For example, Seismitoad, Samurai, even for Alligator sometimes, if it's not wrong, if it's not using max speed. He's going to go into Mighty Yenna here. I know I can take any one hit because my Sash. Drain Punch would heal me up a lot, and then none of my other Pokemon have to damage. He makes a double switch here, predicting something. I don't know, but I Drain Punched. Um, predicting the Grand will probably not think about it. But, I'm gonna Seed Bomb you because a plus two. Do I wanna go plus two here? No, just because of the priority he has. Well, he outspeeds me with... Well, he's going to outspeed me with the Mighty Yenna, so I have to Sucker Punch that. I'm not going to Oko it anyway. Um, 
Gets up his rocks. So I should keep my sash intact. This is fucking. This is fucking incredible right now. I have my sash intact. Two Pokemon are down. So what has happened so far? I've three battles. This is my third battle. This is my fucking third battle. Um, I'm going to go into the Float Soul just to be a dick about it. Because I know he's going to try to burn me. He can't with Water Veil. Um, I can actually try to set up with the Dark Pulse is coming. I'm going to go into Dust Dogs now where I can defog. I could have just done this in the first place, but I just wanted to be a dick about it. That does no damage at all. I can Roost, Toxic, Moonlight. It's going to be great. The most important thing though is to defog. I want to keep my Sash intact and I want to keep Eruption at maximum power. For the switches into, for example, the Spirit Tomb. I know I can now be a Spirit Tomb, and the Shadow Sneak, if it has it, will not be doing a lot of damage to me. Um, he might have the Sucker Punch, however, he might predict me to go for, for the for the Stealth Rocks as well, so it all comes down to that. He's gonna burn me though, he actually is gonna burn me. Wow. Um, I am now going to Toxic. Well, I'm gonna Roost up, um, just because I can. Because I love Dust Ox and it can't die. I refuse to let it die. Um, go Dust Ox, go. Um, so the Spirit Tomb. Is he gonna switch? He stayed in and went for a Dark Pulse. Yeah, dude, you're not gonna get much to have, have a good time doing that, man. He's gonna Toxic you. Um, I assume he's gonna switch into Mesprit now. Oh, wow, he um, got a Toxic off. We can outstall him at this point. He's gonna roost up again. Um, he might go for Dark Pulse, so the flinch. Does he not? And this happens. Okay. Um, I'm in the ballsy mood. I'm gonna go into Cacturn. He goes for Fire Punch! Hello? Fire Punch is a fucking thing? Right, man, I'll just Sucker Punch you. Oh, fuck. No. He's gonna go into Spirit Tomb now. Circle Punch is so obvious that I'm gonna seed bomb predicting the switch. Goes into Mighty Yenna, that's not gonna appreciate that. Now I'm gonna switch out into my Grand Bull, which I know can take any Dark type move, especially if he wants to go for Sucker Punch. Because it's not gonna affect me if he wants to go for Sucker Punch. Which he does go for. And I'm just gonna play rough. It hits everything on his team hard. Nothing on his team wants to take it, especially because I do have attack investment. If I didn't have attack investment, this thing would wouldn't be too useful against this guy's team, but because I do, um, this Mesprit's not gonna enjoy this hit. Of course he's gonna enjoy the hit, because it fucking missed. Let's just play rough, I guess. He's gonna U-turn out, which means something on his team is gonna take a fucking play rough that really doesn't want to. It's gonna be the Mighty Anna, and it's gonna die. So the score is now 3-6. to six. Um, What's gonna go to? The guy from before just messed with me, GG, so GG to you, bro. Um, sorry for me playing so bad. It's okay, bro. Um, let's just... This guy forfeit, too. I guess we're gonna leave it at that, to be honest. Um, um that's gonna be it for the first part guys if you can enjoy please comment like rate and subscribe um give some try out try out the dust stocks guys try it out as a defogger if it doesn't work it doesn't work never hurts to try guys comment like rate and subscribe i'm septal mc peace out